Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, learningdslrvideo.com. I'm just kind of initial thoughts. This is not a review, just kind of a fun toy, basically. Uh, the Fleur One, um, Michael Andrew, uh, who did a really cool epic shootout with the NX1 camera, um, showed some shots of a thermal imaging camera where you could actually see the, the sensor or perhaps the processor or how hot the camera was getting. Um, I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. And there's a lot of other applications for it. So I thought, well, I'll ask B&H for a loaner, just get it in and play around with it. So I've been playing around with the last few days. And just, these are just kind of my initial thoughts that, um, my first, th first thought is, it, this is only designed from my understand from the iPhone 5 and 5S. It costs about 250 bucks. So if you look at the cost of an actual thermal imaging camera, a real one, um, they're very expensive. So 250 bucks is not bad, but the problem is, it, it, with any iPhone accessory, like a case or anything, as soon as you get to the iPhone 6 or 6 Plus, this is not going to work anymore. Unless you could house, it must, maybe you can get a different housing to how that this fits on here. But uh, maybe sure I can actually show you. So this separates into two different parts. There's, I think there's an actual battery in here because you have to charge it up. Um, and then there's this is a regular case that you can take off. So maybe... You all you have to do is just buy one of these and then it fits into that, what is it called, the lightning connector or whatever. Um, but it, it's pretty cool. Um, it has a lot of different uses besides testing your windows or testing like GoPros. And like, for instance, I was kind of interested too. Um, I think I was reading somewhere where if you have a brushless gimbal like this one I'm going to reviewing, if the motors are working too hard, like you didn't balance it correctly um, and they're getting really hot, you don't want them to get over 80 degrees like Celsius, I think it was, which would be really hot. And then it would, I guess, maybe deteriorate the life of the the motors or whatever. But this one I was looking at, there's not much of a payload. And this one wasn't registering hardly anything at all after like a few minutes. They weren't getting hot. They never get warm to the touch or anything like that. So it's kind of a cool tool like that. I mean, there's lots of other different uses. Um, like they talk about in the manual, it's just kind of interesting. Like you know, if your pet is always sleeping in one particular area when you're away, you come home, you can just go around and look to find out where they've been sleeping. You can see it. Like I took my hand and it was put up against the wall and you take your hand away and you can still see that thermal imaging print of your hand on the wall. It's pretty cool. So also for fire safety type stuff, if there's like a big heavy smoke and you can't see anything in the smoke, well, you can use this thermal imaging camera to find people in the smoke if you're trying to rescue them or something like that. So there's a lot of different applications um, besides looking at camera sensors. Um, I've got some lights in. I'm just testing these as well. These are flapjacks made by Photodiax and they're LED lights that are around the rim, um, so they're not directing, pointing right at me. So they have a very nice, um, easy, almost easy to look at. Um, they're not super bright, but they're almost pretty easy to look at in terms of their uh, surface. Because normal LEDs are pointing right at you. These are around the edge. So you can actually take the thermal imaging sensor and look at it right at it. And it's like, oh, I see exactly what's happening where those LEDs are. So that's pretty much it. I just, you know, it's just a fun toy. I just wanted to get in and try it for like 30 days. And uh, I do have some leaky windows in my house. So um, it's almost like a thing that you would probably rent unless you were like a investigated or a detective type person. You're going around trying to find things like clues. Like for instance, you know, my wife um, had was boiling water like an hour previous and I just went up to the burner uh, an hour later and there's four burners on our stove basically and uh, I could see exactly which one that she used like an hour later so um, I would think if you were a detective or something like that this thing would probably be very valuable you could just take it out of your pocket and see things what anyway just kind of a fun toy it's a camera so it's kind of related to the stuff that I do but uh, I just thought I'd share my experiences with it not a really a full review I don't know much about thermal imaging cameras all right, that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.